Fortnite just released Season 2, so you know what that means. It's myth-busting time. Let's see how broken Season 2 really is. There's a giant dragon up there. It's like a robot dragon. I don't know if it's alive or whatever. I can't tell if this is true or not, but I heard that if you shoot it a bunch, it shoots fire. Let's see if it's true. Oh. Did you see that? Vayner? I thought it was clickbait. It's true! If you shoot the dragon... Wait, do it again. Do it again, dragon! I'm out of ammo. Here, enjoy Chug Splash. I'm healing the dragon. Well, I definitely saw fire, but now it's not doing it. Myth confirmed? I guess that's actually kind of insane. I love that Fortnite added that. Will a shield bubble attach to a bike? This actually worked last season. I don't know if you guys remember, but that was with a different bike. I just line it up. It does! It works again! Now you can have your own personal personal Now you can have your own personal moving shield bubble. And it even works with super speed. So I've just created the fastest shield bubble on earth. Myth confirmed. That's good to know. But the real question is, what happens if you run into a player at full speed? How much damage does it do? Is it an insta-kill? Because I feel like if I got hit with one of these bikes, it would not go well. The moment of truth. Woo! I'm kind of scared. Super boost! Goodbye, Vader! Wait, how much damage did it do? I didn't see. 75 damage. I can't tell if that's a lot or a little. Sorry, Vader. 75 sounds like a lot, but I was kind of expecting more. I was kind of expecting an insta-kill, but still, myth confirmed. Um, has it ever rained in Fortnite before? Since when did we get weather? Other than tornadoes. Uh, myth confirmed, question mark? Can the new cars drive on water? Wait, it actually kind of can't. Wait, usually they sink by now. Um, did I just find out that we now have drivable boats? Okay, so I'm going regular speed, and I'm legitimately driving across the water, no problem. Every other vehicle sinks. Um, okay? That's insane? These cars get better and better. Myth confirmed. Does jumping off of a rail protect you from fall damage? Let's find out. Pretty sure we all know the answer to this already, but just to make sure, you do do. You do. Not get fall damage. You're, you're good. Like, you could do that. You're safe. You could jump off the rail. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Myth confirmed. What happens if you crash into another player on a rail at maximum speed? Here we go. Ugh. Oh, we bounce off each other. Hey. Vader, turn around. Let me bump into you. So it like flips. It like flips us around. That's kind of funny, actually. Well, at least you don't get knocked off. So good to know. Myth confirmed. We have incredible talents. Can I jump over Vader? Woo. Oh, Bruh. trick shot. Can you shield bubble the brand new car? I don't want your shields. It works on the bike, and it also works on the car. Looks like it's about to fall off, but it doesn't. What happens if you drift? Oh, it kind of glitches. Look at it. It like fell inside the car. It's kind of glitchy, but it stays on. It's kind of funny. Myth confirmed. I love these new cars, dude. So everybody knows the insanely cool new bikes. But what happens when two bikes collide at full Maximum speed. I'm actually extremely scared. I feel like we're gonna explode or something. We're gonna drive directly into each other. Here we go. And we missed. You guys didn't see that. The time for attempt number two. Here we go. Vroom, vroom. Go. And, oh, nothing. Nothing happens. I was actually expecting like a huge explosion or some sort of flip or something. Myth busted, sadly. I thought we were gonna explode. Did you know that you could shoot to get a blade? I didn't. I kind of hit it by accident, but whatever. Oh, wait. Can you dual wield a katana? Dude, if I can have two, that would be so sick. Oh. You can only have one. Why? Let me have two on both sides. That would be so sick. Myth busted. Will this ring? Oh, it actually does. <laughs> I was expecting that to be a joke. It actually makes a noise. What happens if you use a katana on it? It destroys it. Myth confirmed. So before I showed you guys that cars can actually drive on water. Something brand new in the season because usually they sink. Does the same happen with bikes? 
Usually the bike sinks, at least last season, but it looks good now. Oh, just kidding. So the bikes do sink. That's so weird. I almost feel like the car is supposed to be a glitch now. So if you want to travel across water, use a car, not a bike. Myth confirmed. Why is Meowsles on this poster? There it is, the good old car boat. Apparently you glitch out if you use the blade to jump into a launch pad. So if I do my dash attack onto a launch pad, it indeed kind of glitches me. Let me try that again. So dash into the launch, wait, 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 wait. Dash into the launch pad. I can't actually tell what it does. I feel like it works. I heard that there was like a crazy glitch, but it looks pretty normal to me. Let me try one last time. Take this launch pad. I mean, it's a little glitchy, but not really enough to say that it's a myth. So sadly, I'm going to say myth busted. Take this launch pad. Wait, why is there a key on the map? Let's check it out. Is this something new? Oh, it's just Vader. Oh, if you hold the key card, you're visible on the map even to enemies. Wait, that's insane. That's actually super good to know. So next time you guys get a vault key card, everybody can actually see you. So expect a lot of players to come fight you. Myth confirmed. Good to know. Also a really cool update. That means I can see Vader wherever I want. This is one piece of each material. One wood, one brick, one metal. Does the katana break all of them? And if not, how many swipes does it take to break it? First, let's start off with wood. The weakest of the three. And it takes two swipes. But... You only have to click once, since you do two swipes anyway. It does 75 damage each. Let's try bricks. Aha! 75 damage each. It takes two shots to break bricks. And finally, metal takes so many shots. Four! Okay, so this thing will not be breaking builds that easily. At least with normal swipes. But let's try the dash attack. Destroyed. But what about the dash attack against brick? I should have waited for it to build. Oops. Here we go. Dash attack. Destroyed. Dash attack. Okay, so the dash attack breaks through everything. I don't know how much damage it does, but it does a lot. So if you want to break into some builds, don't do the regular slash. Do a dash attack. Myth confirmed and also busted at the same time. Myth bust firmed. Here's a myth. Are you using Code Tomato? It's not really a myth, but myth confirmed. If you are not doing it, do you should do that. But myth busted. That didn't make sense. But what does make sense is you using Code Tomato and also leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks. Bye.